I first studied the constellation of a court a year ago and I've just had another read through and was quite amazed that new things occurred to me. I was having a look at different relationships that I have with people in my life and having a look at the way that I communicate with people as well as um, examining um, other stars in the constellation such as our closeness to people, the affinity we have with people, um, the relationships that we have, our um, trust that is established with people and it's incredible to see that when you look at it really forensically like this, we can see why relationships go wrong. We can see which relationships in our lives are going perfectly well and why. It's amazing to see this all on paper and get these aha moments. Because in our busy lives where we're running around looking after our children, our partners, focusing on business and just finding some time to look after ourselves as well. We can lose sight of these fundamentals and the constellation of accord really is examining the fundamentals of why relationships in our lives work and why relationships in our lives don't work. It takes the guesswork out, it takes out the uncertainty, it's quite incredible uh, to look at it and think, aha, this makes perfect sense to me. Um, all relationships need great communication and um, Dr. Keith has a wonderful communication workshop and um, it really enhances what we do, having a look at the um, constellation of accord and how everything fits together. It's vitally important for great relationships, as well as having the closeness. You know, you can examine how close you are with, with people in your life. Um, you may have people in your life that um, are very distant and far away from you geographically, but you're still very close because there are aspects in the constellation of accord that you share with them. Um, you can live in a household with someone and be quite distant to them and it's easy to find out why because you just look at the different aspects in the constellation of accord and work out really where you sit in the constellation with these people. You can look at the degrees of closeness, you know, trust, agreement, um, liking and communication as well as the energetic um, dimension there too. People often forget that we are energy and the energy dynamic is extremely important and that's one of the stars in the constellation as well. So it's an all-encompassing model that really explains why relationships work, why they don't work and exactly what we can do about it.